A bill in Lansing could change how renewable energy plants statewide are allowed to be built and run. News 8's David Horak breaks the bill down and has reaction from both lawmakers behind it and those who are against it. House Bill 5120 was introduced this week to make changes to the state's Clean and Renewable Energy and Energy Waste Reduction Act. The legislation sponsored by Democrats would give the state the authority to certify wind, solar, and energy storage plants. In order for us to actually meet our energy future goals, then we, we have to deploy out renewables as quickly and as efficiently as, as possible. That authority would be given to the Michigan Public Service Commission, which would require the developer to provide a site plan and adequate notice to the affected jurisdictions and follow state regulations. The reality is, though, with nearly 1,800 cities, townships, and villages, um, it, it's not likely that every single community has a process in place. And we want to make sure that if there isn't one in place, that the state can then help streamline the process. But at least one section of the bill is getting major pushback. We support a well-planned transition to that clean energy, but we believe that local stakeholders must have a part in that siting process. Section 231 says certifications from the State Public Service Commission would then override any local ordinance prohibiting or limiting energy facilities. Judy Allen with the Michigan Townships Association says that would take away optionality from local governments who would have a voice but no veto ability on final decisions. You have local units who have put zoning in place. They've put things in place for residential development, manufacturing, industrial, commercial, uh, agricultural, and anything that they have in place, this would negate. They're going to come down and say, we don't care about what you guys said, 80% of the voters said. We're going to tell you we're going to put this here anyway. And that's a big problem. In Decatur Township, 80% of residents voted down a referendum to validate a zoning permit application for the Southwest Michigan Solar Project. If this bill were to pass as is, the developers could bypass that to the state and move forward with it. Let the local communities decide if a town comes together and says, yeah, we want a 2,000 acre solar farm out there, then let them do it. That's perfectly fine. But the towns that said no, came together as a community and said, no, we don't want this. They should not be overridden by Lansing's decisions. Now, if this bill, 5120, were to ultimately pass, it does not go into effect unless lawmakers pass House Bill 5121, which would change the state's zoning enabling law to allow it. Warner Kalamazoo Studio, David Horak, News 8.